one of the greatest examples, I saw it written about in a story today on the Super Bowl. A reporter. It doesn't matter who, folks, in the sports, I mean, they're all leftist drive-bys. It doesn't matter who. Was talking about San Francisco. Oh, it's one of the most beautiful cities. It's one of the greatest cities in the world. Oh, my God, it's so beautiful. It's just, it's one of a kind. Went on and on extolling the virtues of San Francisco. And I knew it was going somewhere, and it was. This particular reporter was shocked and saddened at how much homelessness he saw just walking the city. He could not believe that in America in 2016, this problem exists to this degree. He said he's seen homeless before, but he hasn't seen 75 to 100 of them per block. Well, San Francisco is not exactly a conservative place. Safe to say San Francisco has never been a conservative place. Safe to say San Francisco is liberal Mecca. Culturally, especially, San Francisco is exactly what the socialist utopians think is socialist utopia. And yet they hate the cops there. They hate the, well, you know, the drill. But the homelessness is as bad there as it is anywhere in the country. Now, what this guy probably did not want to admit or reference, all this is happening during a Democrat presidency. I mean, it's one thing to have the homeless on the streets when a George W. Bush is in the White House, because obviously Republicans don't care. Republicans don't care if people are getting sick and dying in the streets. But we liberal Democrats, why we we care and we have all the compassion and we have raised taxes and we have done everything we can to stop this. And yet it's worse.